Hello everyone, my name is Arsh Kutela. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer and welcome to the fourth and final video in my data migration series within the new Dynamics 365 operations. In this session, we're going to cover how to migrate configurable data across legal entities and across environments using lifecycle services. So let's talk a little bit about what we're trying to accomplish. Many legal entities will have the same master set of data, such as customer groups, mm -hmm. posting profiles. These are common across various legal entities. Also, think of scenarios where you are building an environment. You then do some training and testing with the end client, and then you build that environment away and start your next round of testing with UAT, or potentially your go live. What we're gonna to demonstrate today is a method of saving all your configurable setup data and then redeploying it into the new environment when you need to. This can be again done into a clean environment or just into a new legal entity. For today I'm going to give a very simple example. In a previous session I exported my data of lead priorities and lead types. So what I'm going to show you is how to add these into LCS and how to deploy them from LCS into Dynamics 365 operations. So I'm just going to minimize this. I already have Lifecycle Services open. I'm in my project, WCS Netbox. And what I'm going to do, under Tools, I'm going to go into the Asset Library. Within the Asset Library, I'm going to go into these data packages. Data packages contain multiple elements that can be migrated into an environment. I'm going to load my new one. As you can see in the standard Contoso environment, Microsoft gives many different examples for you to play with. I'm going to go ahead and press this plus and give it a new one. So I'm going to call this Sales and Marketing Lead Setup. And then you can add more information. Lead Types Priorities. Alright, and then you go ahead and you add a file. Now this file that you add must be a exported data entity package and I have this one from my previous example. If you need to know how to create these packages please refer to the third video in this series. I'm then going to go ahead and press upload. For anyone who's run this is the package. It has my data files and it has two XML files that detail the order that they need to be imported in. My upload was successful so I'm going to confirm this. And it's going to process. And now you're going to see we have this sales and marketing package here. So I am ready. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to my project. And this time under tools. I'm going to go to my Configuration and Data Manager. And here you will see all the data packages you have available to you. So I just created this one. If you'd like, you can press this History and see that so far we had never used this one. Go back. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this Apply button. What it asks you is, which environment do you want to load to? And so this is where, if you have multiple environments, you can load the same consistent data package. So if you have set up a training environment, a test environment, a UAT, which will then become production environment, you can deploy to all of them right from within LCS. And then it asks you, which company do you want to add them to? And I'm going to go ahead and add it into my USP2, just because I happen to know that this is a blank environment. And then I'm going to press apply. So this is going to run. Now, I could have shared this earlier, but this is my USB 2 company. As you can see, my lead types are blank. What you can then do, if you want to track your performance, you can go back into the data management. And what you'll see is that a project will have been created for this migration. And you can see by the spinning that it is still running. I can press execution details and now you can see my check mark has been added. So I've had seven lead types and four priorities, which you can also see in this graph. 
And then all I can do is I can go over to my lead types. And you see now they've been populated. So this is the configuration and data manager in LCS that you can then use to send specific data into different environments and different companies. I hope this was helpful. This has completed my data migration session. Thank you for watching. Take care.